Hi, how's it going? So, uh, I don't know what's going on. I can't figure out what to do with my hair today. It's a hot mess. And I was trying to go for this, like, bandana, like, but like a rosy bandana sort of updo because I kind of did the, you know, 50s, 40s, 50s, you know, pinup sort of deal. So I thought I would go with the bandana, but for whatever reason, every time I try to, like, put on this bandana, my hair says, no, no, don't do that to me. And, um, so I'm stuck with this mess. I can... Seriously, my hair is the weirdest texture. I can just... And it'll stay that way. I don't... Why? Why do you do this to me, hair? My mom doesn't have this hair. None of my family members have this hair. Why do I have it? Anyways, um... Another thing I want to talk about... Uh... I watched... The reason why I'm going for this pin-up deal... I have hair all over my face. The reason why I'm going for this pin-up deal is, uh... I watched a movie the other day, uh... The Notorious Betty Page. It was made in 2008? Either 2005 or 2008. I want to say 2008. But you never know. And, um... Oh God. I just wish I was Betty Page. I wish I was Betty Page. She is so... What a beautiful woman. And, like, what a cool thing. And that brought me... The reason why I watched that... Well, it's not the reason why I watched it, but I was kind of having a connection with it. Uh, I was looking on Craigslist for, you know, jobs, because every time you go into a store, they're like, oh, it's online, oh, it's online. Uh, but I am going to the World Market and Hot Topic today. But there's a lot of ads for, like, not necessarily strippers, but, like, uh, like burlesque dancers. And I was kind of thinking, I wouldn't mind being a burlesque dancer. I mean, as long as I wasn't getting completely nude. Or even at a strip club, I wouldn't mind working at a strip club as long as I wasn't a stripper. Like, because you know you could be one of the cocktail waitresses where you're wearing, like, a bathing suit or, like, uh, like a corset. Here are your drinks. <laughs> and, um, I wouldn't mind doing that, honestly, because it's funny. And, I mean, I'm not the most attractive person, but I'm attractive enough to work at a strip club. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a strip club, but oh my god, they're not as attractive as you would think. And, um, which I mean, good for them, but, I mean, not good for them, but... Because like, not everything's about looks, but I feel like if you're gonna... I feel like if you're gonna be a stripper and be getting naked for people, you should probably be under 150 pounds. But, what do I know? And, um... I don't know, but then I, I kept thinking about it, and I'm just like, what is wrong with you, Katie? Why would you want to do that? Because I don't want to get naked for people. I don't want to... I'm too awkward and goofy. I, I'd be talking to them. Hey, have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? <laughs> like, hey, yeah, you like my tattoo? It's the Boondog Saints. How you doing? I'd be like the tomboy. Maybe I could be the madame. I don't know. I could be like head bitch. I don't actually have to strip. I just tell everyone who to strip for. I'm like, you. Sure off. Posture. Uh, uh, fix that eyebrow. I don't I don't know. What do madame say to people? I don't know. Um, but that's why I, I thought it was kind of a strange connection that I was watching the Tori's Betty Page because that's kind of what she did. I mean, she wasn't a madame and she wasn't really a stripper. She was just kind of like really influential in porn. Uh, like uh, risque photographs and early, early videos. And, um... I just thought that was so interesting, because it wasn't raunchy, really. I mean, it was, it was a little risque, but it wasn't, like, porn today. It was, um, like, it's porn today, I mean, anyone can do porn. Um, which I was not thinking about doing, if anyone was wondering. Uh, that was more of my sister's thing, not mine. Um, that is one thing I've actually never considered, ever even, like, thought about doing, is porn. Um... Not because I'm against it, just because I'm a little self-conscious about my, uh, undercarriage. <laughs> a little, uh, self-conscious about it. Um, and I don't want a bunch of strangers looking at it and, like... Especially when you watch porn, because 
I don't watch it very often, but when I do, I find myself analyzing it. I'm like, oh, I wish they would pick this angle. I wish they would pick this angle. And then every time they zoom in on the vagina, I'm like, I can just tell that smells bad. I'm just like looking at it like, oh, that fucking reeks. And I can't, I mean, obviously I can't smell anything because it's a screen, but just I'm like, that's gross. <laughs> And I don't want people thinking that about my vagina, you know? I don't want people to zoom in on my vagina and everyone be like... Oh... Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it does, but everything on camera looks different. And, um... Also, I don't really want to sleep around with a bunch of random guys. Yeah, I know they're really safe. I'm not really worried about getting an STD or getting pregnant or anything, but, uh... I just, I don't know. There's too many different guys. I... I'm not a... I don't want to say, well, I was going to say ladies man, but I'm not a lady. A man's lady? <laughs> I'm a man lady. <laughs> I'm a man lady. And, um, I'm, I'm for one guy as opposed to a million guys. Although I do like to look at people walking down the street. What an attractive man. There's a lot of them downtown for whatever reason. Just recently, I'm like, damn. Another one to walk by. This is not what I wanted this video to be about at all. I'm just kind of ranting. Why not? Uh, kind of catching a little bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, Swan moved out of the house. He moved out of the basement. And Bree's sister Ashton moved in uh, just for the next month or so. Um, I was also thinking about making, not another channel, but like a sub-channel, like a side channel to this. Uh, I've been cooking a lot lately. Uh, my grandpa is a chef, like, professionally, along with a million other things. Jazz band, real estate, uh, English major. My grandpa, he's a chef, mainly. My mom is fantastic. My aunt, nah, she's alright. But everyone in the family, except for, you know, my aunt and my uncle, are actually really fantastic cooks. My grandparents, all of my grandparents, and they're all like trained cooks. They're not just like, oh, we just happen to be good. They're all trained, like went to school to cook. And, uh, why am I not trained? <laughs> but they've been training me my entire life, like, this is how you do it, this is how you do it. So I know how to cook, like, really well and just, like, know how to do it. Baking, on the other hand, I cannot do. <laughs> but, uh, cooking, I can very well. And, uh, I was very broke at the same time. So I've been making a lot of, like, really low budget meals, like, shit you just find around the house. So I was thinking I'm making a channel uh, dedicated to, I was going to call it meals for poor people or like, <laughs> like what to eat when you're broke as hell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call it. And just have this channel dedicated, not going through the whole process, but showing like this is blah 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 and this is blah 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 and this is how long you put it in blah 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 yada 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 and now I'm not even speaking English. And, um, like for example, last night I made homemade potato soup. I've never made potato soup in my life. And it was great. Uh, just a lot of potatoes, some milk, not very much of it, cheese, and butter, and some, like, random ass seasonings that I found in the cupboard. And it was great. I also made garlic bread. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my garlic bread is so good. Oh, uh, fuck. And uh, I was thinking about, I was like, why don't I just record this and show everyone how to make it? People that are just as broke as I am, just as cheap, even if you're not broke, if you're fucking cheap as I am, or like to just, just like to cook with things that are around your house, you don't have to run out and go grab them. And uh, I think it's a good idea. Third thing I wanted to talk about, uh, someone sent me a link to one of their, I don't know if it was their videos or... The person who sent it to me was Super Saiyan 181 or something like that. And it took me a second. I was like, Super Saiyan? Like Dragon Ball Z? Like Super Saiyan? And I was never even into that show. And I was like, whatever. So I clicked it because I was like, fuck, I don't want to watch a Dragon Ball Z thing. And it forwarded me to this video. I think his name is Dreyus or something. Darius? Dreyus? Darius? Something. Something along those lines. Nonetheless, he is fucking hilarious. Like, one of the funniest people I've seen on YouTube in a while. And, um, just ranting, just kind of like what I'm doing, just sitting here talking. And he was talking about The Walking Dead and how excited he is for the third season. And I almost shit my pants because I am equally as excited. I don't think you understand. 
And then he went on this rant, like, narrating, like, the entire first two seasons. And he's like, please give my homeboy T-Dog some more airtime. And please get my homeboy Daryl some more screen time. And all this stuff. And I'm like, yes, I love T-Dog. And yes, I love Daryl. Clearly I love Daryl. I'm a Norman Reedus fan. I'm Norman Reedus tattooed on my leg. Not because I'm in love with him. That happened after I got the tattoo. Um... I'm also thinking about, uh, there's a couple tattoos I want to get, speaking of which, I just don't know for placement. Um, my roommate Bree, yeah, you guys have seen her, uh, she, her dad is a tattoo artist who lives in Canada, but, like, a really good tattoo artist, and he did the one on her, like, she's a portrait of David Bubbly on her leg, and it's really well done. But, uh, if he ever comes down here or we go up there, uh, they, you know, he basically said he would do a portrait for me. And I'm like, shit, who do I want a portrait of? Because, I mean, how often do you get the chance to get a really, really well-done portrait for my cheek? Um, so I decided I'm going to get a portrait of Gandalf. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I've always... He's my favorite. I mean, and... It, I don't know. And I keep wanting to get... Speaking of... I don't know why all my tattoos are Lord of the Rings ideas. But, um... Not all of them, but a lot of them. I keep like, coming this close to getting this one, and it's only going to be about this big. And I wanted it right here like right above the booby, like but on my chest, you know? And it's uh it's the white tree of Gondor. Because I don't know if you guys have ever read the books or seen or even seen the movies. All the, you know, warriors of Gondor have that big tree on all their armor, on their chest armor. And it's like a it's like a symbol of pride. Not necessarily pride, but just like a God, I'm having a blank right now. I just cannot talk did not get very much sleep apparently. I've been waking up at like 6.37 every morning the past month. I don't know why. Um, either way, I wanted to get it. I come, I always come this close to getting it, just like a silhouette, just like a, just the symbol, just right there, that's all I want. Just about that big, that's all I need. It's on your chest, it's close to your heart, it's very important. It's very, it's protection, it's, it's keeping you safe, it's like, I am a warrior of Gondor, and that's what I want. But it's dangerously, like, oh my god, so dangerously close to the symbol that's, uh, I don't know how else to say it, but white supremacist. <laughs> it's like a, like a KKK symbol, like the white tree of racism, I don't know. And, um, I just don't really want to have that conversation with someone. Like, I don't want to go down to the south or go somewhere and someone see that and they're like, you racist, like, you fucking racist. And... I'm like, no, I'm just a Tolkien fan. Like, what if I get beat up? Like, I live in... I live in Aurora right now. Like, well, I guess it's technically Denver, but this is in a good area. I see people... I didn't know what this was. Also, people have these spider tattoos, like, on their hands and shit everywhere in this neighborhood, and I thought it was just, like, a fad. Um, apparently it's something to do with bloods. So, <laughs> man, maybe I should take off this blue shirt. But, um... I don't know, just tattoos, and I keep wanting to get that one, but I just don't want to be accused of being a white supremacist. <laughs> Especially since my last name's white and I'm white. It just doesn't work out. It doesn't look nice. It doesn't look good when you have something that could or could not be a swastika, or could or could not be Hitler's portrait. I don't... <laughs> it doesn't look good. And it makes me nervous. Also, I want to get both of my brother's middle names. Uh, I just don't know where for placement. Because where, where do you get name tattoos? Like, some people get them on their arm. Or, I kind of wanted to do forearm, like, uh, here. Like, one here and then one on the other side. Like, because I love placement for tattoos there, but I don't know if that's where I want it to go. If that's where I want the names. The reason why I want to do their middle names is because their first names are so lame. Like, ugh. Oh, my, my brother's names are Cole and Cody lamest names. Almost as lame as Katie. And, um, but their middle names are so cool. It's, uh, Everett and Woodson. Cole Everett and Cody Woodson. And, uh, the names just kind of run in the family, like great-great-great-grandpa Everett and great-great-great-grandpa Woodson and so on and, you know, keeps going, going, and going. And for a while we called Cody Woody, like as a kid, just Woody, you know, because Woodson. And, you know, well, my stepdad will still call Cole Everett. Like, Everett, get over here. Everett. Ah. Ah. And, um, 
I just think those are the coolest names, and I, I love them so much. They're probably two of my favorite people in my family, just because I spent a lot of time around them. I mean, I might as well have been their mother for from 8 till 16, and uh, I don't want to get all personal in my life, but my parents, they worked a lot, and they drank a lot. And uh, we lived in Michigan, and my brothers were born, and Mom had to go right to work right away. They're both, my brothers are very close in age. I think they're like 13 months apart. 13, 14 months apart, and, um, it's just, it was rough, you know, it was, I was, I might as well have been their mother, not their mother, but I was, I was the nanny, I was the, I was the one that was there, and as a result of that, I have a very close connection with both of them, even though I don't live there anymore, um, when I go see them, it's just like, I feel like they're mine, you know, I feel like they're my children. <laughs> I just have this close connection. I just want to hug them all day long. Like, I miss you. I, I miss, if I don't see them every, like, three, four days, I get really, like, where are they? I need them here. Like, hey, do you want to come over? Like, can I come pick you up? Let's go do something. And, uh, I love that I have that connection with them, but also it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little strange. People are like, why I hate my sister? Why I hate my brother? I'm like, well, I don't know. It's just different. I, I, it doesn't feel like a a sister. I, I mean, I feel like the older sister. I just feel closer than that a little bit, even. Just because I, you know, spent so much time taking care of them, especially their little babies. I just, oh, I love them so much. And, um, I also wanted to get a tattoo. My grandpa, my grandpa's signature is so funny. <laughs> I wanted to get it on my wrist, my grandpa's signature. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, you know how famous people have like those quirky signatures, like Kurt Vonnegut has like, it's like a self-portrait signature. <laughs> well, my grandpa has something very similar, except it's like a self-portrait, but it's a self-portrait of him as a pig. Like, he draws, it's like a circle, and then you know, the ears, and then it's wearing glasses and has like a mustache, and then it just says Pa. He didn't even sign his real name, it just says Pa. Everywhere. But it's so like kind of scribbly, you don't really know what it is. But, uh, it's just really special to me, even though they hate tattoos. And he was like, if you get that, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm flattered, but I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm like, no. Like, I'm going to. Like, you're not going to, you're 70 years old. You're not going to be around forever, and I just want, want something, you know. And he's, he's one of my favorite family members also. It's hard to pick favorites out of the family. But, um... I've been ranting for like 15 minutes now, I am so sorry. Um, I'm gonna go down to wherever and go play at a Hot Topic and World Market and Ulta and everywhere else. So, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and tell me about the, the cooking idea. And I kind of forgot about Darius or Dreas or whatever. He is so funny. You guys need to check him out. He talks a lot about like Super Saiyan. <laughs> talks a lot about Dragon Ball Z and whatnot, but and he's still really funny. He makes it almost entertaining to watch it. And even though, I mean, I'm a girl, I mean, I don't really like it. <laughs> Just wasn't ever my thing. I was always really into other things. I did like Avatar a lot, though, when the cartoon was out. I don't know if they still play it. I don't have a TV, but when I was living in Michigan, I was probably like 11. Oh, shit. Oh, that was my shit. And then they made the movie, and I was like, nah. um, check him out. I don't have his name, <laughs> so I can't really tell you where to go. But he's really funny, and I agree. An American Horror Story that shit needs to come back on too. Um, oh shit, that was such a good show too. That and Walking Dead were just like my addiction. And now that I don't have anything to watch, I got I kind of got hooked on Queer as Folk, and then that got a little too weird for me. And, um, I don't know. It's up but I just don't fit into the gay community. I just don't, because I'm not gay. I, I like gay people. I have a lot of gay friends, but just my culture, I don't fit into their culture because, because I'm not gay. I don't understand. I just, I just don't get it, because because I'm straight. <laughs> I just don't I just don't get it. I don't fit into the culture the same way and I don't 
have the same connections and or the same emotions or or when there's some sort of like gay bashing sort of like drama that takes part I don't understand the pain like someone who is gay would understand it kind of like when you watch movies about slavery and you're white you just don't really understand you you will never understand because you've never been there <laughs> and um and that's how I feel about gay TV is that I just I don't fit in I don't understand because I've never had to go through that so um Walking Dead man oh shit oh my god Norman Reedus and um I don't know who the actor is that plays Tate Paint Tate and um American Horror Story but he's What a weirdo, though. And I can't decide if I'm actually attracted to him or not. Because he's kind of weird. He looks like my ex-boyfriend, Adam, a little bit. One of the Adams. And, uh... I can't decide if I am attracted to him or not. Because I'm like, damn, look at you. Even though you're kind of awkward and weird. But I think that's why I'm attracted to him. And then... I'm like, ooh, you look like Adam. And that was kind of a terrible time. He wasn't a bad boyfriend. I was just a terrible girlfriend. I'm done talking. I'm talking about nothing. It's been half an hour that I've been ranting to you guys about nothing. <laughs> Give me ideas about the cooking show. If you guys want me to cook something or have any ideas for dinners on the cheap, I'm gonna start posting. Um, I'm gonna start posting videos and saying chicken tetrazzini on the cheap. Just kidding. I don't know what that is. I've just been watching a lot of Mori lately because look at my history. All right, bye.